subscribe and download over 1 million code snippet including this tutorial from codegive.com, link in the description below. In this tutorial, we will explore how to implement caching with the popular Python requests library. Caching can significantly improve the performance of your application by storing and reusing previously fetched data, reducing the need to make repeated requests to a server. We'll be using the requests underscore cache library, an extension to the requests library that adds support for caching. To get started, you need to install the requests underscore cache library. You can do this using pip. Let's start with a basic example of using the requests underscore cache library. We'll cache the responses for a simple get request to the JSON placeholder fake rest API. In this example, we've installed a cache named example underscore cache that will store responses for one hour, expire underscore after equals 3600. The cache is automatically used for subsequent requests to the same endpoint during this period. You can customize various aspects of the cache, such as the expiration time, maximum number of entries, and more. Here's an example. In this example, we've set a custom cache named custom underscore cache with an expiration time of 30 minutes, allowed response codes of 200 and 404, and a maximum of 50 entries in the cache. There may be scenarios where you want to bypass the cache and make a fresh request. You can achieve this by using the requests underscore cache dot disabled, context manager. Caching with the requests underscore cache library is a powerful way to optimize your Python applications by reducing unnecessary HTTP requests. By following the steps in this tutorial, you can easily implement caching in your projects and fine-tune the cache settings based on your specific requirements. ChatGPT